I think at any point in my life, because of the luck I have, just the fortunes I have, just being born in a fortunate family, no matter where I am in my career path, well, I'll always be able to give. G'day folks, welcome back to our series on people who give effectively. Today we're speaking with Ricky from Sydney, Australia, who took the Giving What We Can pledge in 2019. Here's her effective giving story. I was trying to decide how I can do the most good for the resources I have. I read the book, How to Do the Most Good by Peter Singer, and then I joined Effective Altruism Sydney. After I learned about Effective Altruism, I thought for a while and did my research and I already had enough thinking that I wanted to take an action. Something I could do immediately was give and, well, giving what we can made sense. And it's one of the quickest things you can do, the most impactful thing you can do, an actionable thing, because thinking is one part, but the action is really important. So I thought, what can I do right now? Um, was, okay, I'll give, I'll give. And I think giving what we can makes sense. It's a good pledge to have and yeah, that's why. Ricky could simply give without pledging. So why does Ricky pledge to give? And a pledge, I think, keeps you accountable, keeps you motivated, and it's about a community that's involved in it. So they inspire me as well, so. Ricky also shared what she would say to someone who's on the fence about pledging. I think, do it. <laughs> I think I was on the fence as well. If you're afraid to do the 10%, just start from somewhere is good as well. But for me, I personally trust myself right now with the decisions after I've had thought enough. Maybe make a deadline of how much you're gonna think up to about the decision and then make that decision. But for me, by the time I had thought through everything, it was the most quick thing I could do actionably. Um, made sense to me and I had read enough through what was the most um, effective way to give. So from there, it was just about making that decision. And after you've made that first decision, um, automating the, the payment just through your bank account is simple and you really won't think about it after that. Once it's automated, it's done. So I think that's the advice I give. <laughs> there are many people who build wealth with the intention of giving later. Ricky shared why she's giving now instead of later. If you're too worried about, oh, do I give now? Do I give later? I think I prefer just doing it monthly, giving now. Because I think if you think about it too much, you're going to prolong that decision. And at some stage for me, I feel like I might value drift or something might happen. I trust myself right now more than future Ricky, I think. <laughs> Finally, there are many ways to have a positive impact. Why is Ricky choosing to give? I think at any point in my life, because of the luck I have, just the fortunes I have just being born in a fortunate family, no matter where I am in my career path, well, I'll always be able to give. Thanks so much to Ricky for sharing her effective giving story. It certainly has motivated me. To learn more about effective giving, check out the playlist linked in the video. If you're inspired to use your income to help others effectively, we invite you to join our community by going to givingwhatwecan.org.